Good morning, boxers. Today is Thursday, April 9th, 2020, and today is an A day. I hope you all got some rest last night and you're ready for a brand new day of learning. Before we begin our morning announcements, I will share with you our Houston uh, HISD and Houston Food Bank distribution centers for the day. Today, April 9th uh, at 9 a.m., we have two locations, Chavez High School and Black Middle School. So if your families are in need of the curbside pickup for food, those are the two locations at 9 a.m., Chavez High School and Black Middle School. At 11 a.m., Fur High School will be available, and at 3 p.m., Benavides Elementary. Because we don't have school tomorrow, uh, I will also let you know the food distribution centers for tomorrow, Friday, April 10th. At 9 a.m., again, two locations, Cashmere High School and Woodson Pre-K through 5. At 11 a.m., Patrick Henry Middle School. And at 3 p.m., Westbury High School. All right, so as a reminder, we do not have school tomorrow, uh, Friday, April 10th, because it is a spring holiday, so no need to sign into your platforms or check in with your teachers if they require you to do so. If you do need help during this off-duty time, you can always email me or text me or communicate with me however you have been so far. Lots of announcements today, guys. Ms. Stanley wants to remind you all that all seniors should be applying for scholarships at this point. She emailed you guys, uh, I believe it was earlier this week. She sent you all an email with some updated scholarships. So in your downtime, uh, parents, please encourage our seniors to be filling out those scholarship applications. This is uh, kind of what you need, right, to go to school. Uh, financial aid covers a little bit of it, but for a lot of us, um, we need some extra money for college. So please make sure you're doing that. Ms. Stanley is also willing to write you letters of recommendation. All that she asks is that you send her the brag sheet that she sent out to all of you. And within three days of receiving your brag sheet, she will get you a letter of recommendation. Parents, if you're not familiar with the brag sheet, Sheet. This is just a form that we have all of our students fill out because it tells us a lot about the student that we won't necessarily see on a transcript or on a report card about community service hours, extracurricular activities. Um, there's also a spot on the brag sheet to tell us a story that is unique to the individual so that we can include that in our recommendation letters. Next announcement is from Miss Aloha. Algebra 2 students need to watch the video examples on the hub. Um, and AP Calculus and AP Statistics students should be completing the FRQs on AP Classroom. Mr. Gary says there will be no class meetups for physics or pre-cal this week so that he can adjust, you guys and he, can adjust to the new assignment schedule. Students should instead be working on the hub lessons, especially if you haven't done the first lesson yet. I'm sure that applies to no one, right? And from Ms. Broadsack, she says, please check Teams for updates and the class assignment for the week. Mr. Perez says that art class meetings will be on Tuesdays for Art 1 and Wednesdays for photography and AP art classes. Make sure you check the Teams for the scheduled times. Mr. Deal will be holding virtual office hours today, Thursday, April 9th, for periods A1, which is at 9 o'clock, A3 at 1 p.m., and A4 at 3 p.m. using Teams. Make sure you have viewed the lecture before you come to this class meeting so that you can ask any questions um, or clarify any kind of uh, confusion you may have about this week's content. Mr. Martinez says that he has scheduled Teams meeting Teams meetings for all of his classes during the regularly scheduled times on Thursday this week. Again, Friday, we do not have school, so please make sure you check in with him if you were scheduled to do a meeting on Friday. Um, before I let you guys go, do you see a recurring theme here? Most of these teachers are saying check teams. So please make sure you're doing that every single day. This is the way we communicate with you the fastest, the quickest. Um, and so you can also, I don't know if you know this feature, but you can start a new chat in teams and privately message your teachers if you have any questions. All you have to do is click the little edit box at the very, very top um, of the screen when you're in the chats platform and start typing in the teacher's last name and it should auto populate if you are spelling the teacher's name correctly. Um, so please make sure that you are on Teams if you haven't already. We know that it's much easier to have it on your cell phone at your disposal um, because you will get the alerts. But you have to make sure you've turned on the notifications. I noticed that a lot of our seniors, I've been posting updates about cap and gowns, and not a lot of you have even acknowledged that post. So 
If you want to stay in the loop, the quickest way is to turn on your notifications and download the app to your, to your mobile devices. All right, before we go, birthdays. Today, April 9th, Magdalena Araiza, Brianna Guerra, and Luis Lopez Vasquez are celebrating their birthdays. Happy birthday, boxers. And tomorrow, April 10th, we have Josephine Matsad Batsin and Alexander Ramos Rodriguez. Happy birthday, guys. Over the weekend, we have two birthdays, Jocelyn Rosales and Brenda Cabanis. I hope you all have a very, very happy birthday. I know the circumstances are not conducive um, or ideal, but we still are thinking about you and we wish you all the best. Have a great day, boxers. Be successful and reach out anytime you need help. Bye.